did the, the VR headset thing as well, and that was just brilliant. That's just amazing. Um, floating over the, the virtual um, space station and, and doing the descent module thing. And to see the actual module itself here with all its scars and things, the burning on it, um, is just an amazing thing. And uh, those, if you've got any viewers that haven't been to see it yet, pay attention to the parachute. If you, if you can take a little pair of binoculars with you, look up at the parachute. There's tiny little threads of silver in it to make it stronger. You don't see any of that detail from a distance. So, you know, c concentrate on the parachute as well. The, the, the engineering that's in it is just phenomenal. Members of the public come along, we do regular talks, we have events uh, for doing uh, stargazing, uh, we'll call them star parties. Um, we do events down on the Nervesmeyer. So it's all about sort of promoting space flight, astronomy, um, anything that's current in the news to do with space and astronomy. And um, yeah, just increasing people's knowledge and interest of it. It's the only public society in the, in the, in the city, yeah. Um, York University has one, but it's, it's to do with the students only. So yes, as regards the, the general public, it's, um, uh, it's, it's the only one. Um, there's, I think there's about 200 societies up and down the country. There's three dark sky areas um, across the country that are doing it. So there's the Yorkshire Dales, there's the North York Moors, and there's the South Downs. We've been involved with two events for the uh, North York Moors. We did an event last week at Castle Howard, and next week on the 24th, we're doing an event at uh, Sutton Bank Business Centre. So yours truly will be giving a talk, if it's cloudy, and if it's clear, we'll have a, a plethora of telescopes to view the night sky. We'll get a speaker to come and give us a talk for about 45 minutes, questions and answers afterwards. And if it's clear, we go off to our observatory on the outskirts of York and uh, do a bit of observing. We do have informal evenings, and they're often quite, uh, quite fun ones. That's when our members stand up and do two or three minutes. So it might be just me standing up saying, I've, I've taken a couple of photos of this object. Here they are. Sit down again. Someone else does another couple of minutes. But they're often the most entertaining because it's actually showing the amateurs doing what they love doing rather than it just being sometimes a talk, a full length talk on one subject can be a little bit dry. So it's nice to have those little potpourri evenings.